Hey guys, Uncle Jay here, back in Space Engineers, and we are standing on the Betsy Mark 1. I'm calling it the Mark 1 because I'm not happy with it completely. And I think there's going to be a Mark 2 maybe. But uh, I did say I was going to build a rectangle with curvy sides. And I definitely built a rectangle with curvy sides. So uh, let's go over it. And here is the front. We have our pillars, our columns, our point defense, thrusters, rocket launchers, camera, nav lights, blinky lights, missiles, turrets, point defense, uh, sneaky people defense, we have our antennas and we have our shiny disco ball of protection parachute hatch <clears throat> excuse me rear turret the, uh, the sides are the same on our back here we have our more nav lights some detailing I like the way the engine detailing came out now I'm not gonna lie to you guys I did the greebling and cheat mode just because I want to get this finished and it's just easier doing greebling and cheat mode because that way you know if your idea doesn't look right you're not grinding rewelding grinding rewelding and um, I spent quite a few days on this couple of mining trips for gold, platinum, uh, plenty of iron. The only thing you really have to go out for in this space is for the gold and the uh, uranium. Everything else is pretty much is on planet here. On moon, I should say. Then we have our underneath with our drills, our feet, plenty of down thrust. So uh, let's head to the inside through the back. Here are our stairs. We are greeted with six batteries, some of our new tubes. And have a nice day. Now, I looked on the workshop for a smiley face. I couldn't find one. So if any of you guys know of any like uh, <clears throat> emotes or yeah, emotes, emojis, yeah, or smiley faces, you know, have a nice day at the workshop, uh, let me know. Put that down in the comments, please. Come into our airlock, which is controlled by Izzy's door script. We are greeted with two H2O2 generators and reactors. Now, this hallway light was the last um, addition. It was just too dark in this hall. And here is our bridge. We have use of our catwalks and our neon tubes here. You can see the ship shake, and that's because it's um, on that piston back there. I really should make a hard mount for this ship. Our control seats, you can see I'm using the uh, some of the uh, transparent LCD mod. Something, I forget what it's called. We have a push button up there for our parachute hatch to open. A single jump drive, which I haven't tested yet. And then on the front here, the left and right ready rooms. I could put a couch in here or something. Lockers, armory, airlocks now. I use the square uh, conveyors that have the vent in them. Um, best block there possibly could be. I can't stand those, those half blocks. The half vent blocks, it just drives me nuts. And then 
obviously below us is our gravity generator. So let's come up to Atwasc, get another nice view of the bridge here. Now the ore detector, I kind of forgot to put in at the last moment, so that's why it's up here, but I think it, uh, it fits pretty good in there. It's a um, happy accident. And, you know, with the clock there, with the, with the, you know, it, it does look like a clock. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. So this is the right side of the ship or starboard side. And uh, here is our kitchen and our two of our daily needs blocks, just the food resequencer, resequencer and the, uh, the water recycler, which these you keep off because it will suck all of your ice and you will have 10 million things of drinking water. Let's come into our dining hall, our chill area, where you can eat, play cards, arm wrestle, first like space engineers. We have a full medical because we have two basic refineries and two full assemblers, no modules. A hydrogen tank on stockpile hiding back there. A little TV screen. And we're gonna come over here. You can see our shield generator control. And then Mr. Coffee and Mr. Radar because I always drink coffee while watching Mr. Radar. And Mr. Radar has the door script on it. Mr. Coffee doesn't have anything on him. So let's come into our bunk, crew quarters. We have three beds, uh, pilot, co-pilot, hitchhiker. <clears throat> we have a, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so every time I want to record, my throat goes south. But any other times, it's perfectly fine. But yes, this is our bathroom here. Shower. Our other assembler. I really like how that looks. So this is the... Uh, this is the inside here. And, uh, I like the way it turned out. Let me know what you guys think about this bridge. So the only thing left is to go on a, uh, test drive. Now I have done one test drive, made a quick trip just to see how things handled. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take her out and, uh, see what kind of trouble we can get into. Alright guys, it looks like we have a target coming up on us. I'm not even going to, uh... Wow, that was violent. Let's check our front end here. Alright. That was a, I guess, a Raider drone that was coming after us. And we are actually going to head for this radar right here. All right, we're coming into range. And we're gonna make sure we, uh, we're gonna use our missiles here. We're gonna do a fast, we're gonna do a fast run. Wait till we come down to we'll make sure we are off axis and then we're going to turn a little bit.
and all my shots missed. Nice. Let's, uh, let's go back in for a second run. That even moving? Yeah, she's moving. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was a collision. That was a collision. Oh, it looks like our shield saved us. Oh, that could have been nasty. That could have been really nasty. That was definitely, uh, That was my mistake. Whew. All right, let's disengage. Let's disengage. Let's give ourselves a look over here. Those, uh, those shields saved us. No, we do have some damage. Not much. All right, let's uh, let's head over to the salvage station next. We lost a, uh, a turret there on that last encounter from my horrible uh, piloting skills. But in all fairness, this is the first time ah, taking the ship into combat. range I think we're in range now I'm gonna go easy on the missiles here take a look at our shields Something's up here. Looks like a drone. All right, let's turn our dampeners off and let's uh, go back in for another run. And we're go oh. Oh, we got some damage. We're going to come in. Stop shooting the... Oh, that's very interesting. That's very, very interesting. Alright, we're going to make one more pass and then we are going to head back to base. This time I am going to make sure... I get my missiles on. Number two, number one. I don't know what that's shooting at. And we are out of missiles. Make sure I keep my guns pointed at it. Going to oh, the game just hang up there for a second. I 
take it that is a drone. All right. So we are going to head for our jump point. And uh, let's go ahead and make sure we're pushing the right button. Please confirm. This is our first jump. And here we are. Home sweet home. A little battered. But uh turn our dampeners on here and uh take her down. Alright guys, it's Uncle Jay. Um thanks for watching me um with my horrible, horrible combat skills. Testing the Betsy Mark One. I think that's uh, that's gonna be it for uh, this Moon Moon Base series, and uh, I think I'm gonna build a Mark II just for uh, shits and giggles and creative. But uh, on to the uh, next project, whatever that may be. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like. Um, let me know what you think. And until next time.